It was one of the most extreme cases of turbulence caught on camera. The flight attendant picking up beverage cups was slammed to the ceiling. Between the sudden aircraft drop, the flying beverage cart, and the scalding water, 10 passengers on this Bulgarian Airlines flight to Sweden were injured. Airline industry data now shows that across the globe, such violent and unpredictable turbulence is becoming more common. <laughs> As the headline says, it's not just you, flights are getting more turbulent. What is going on? Please double check your seatbelt. Make sure everybody has your seatbelt. And climate change has raised the odds of a flight encountering severe turbulence in clear skies. Put this thing on the ground. That was Frontier Airlines Flight 226 a few years ago from Denver to Baltimore. Here is the key paragraph in the Verge article, quote, Severe clear air turbulence, or CAT, has already become more common, according to a study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. On a typical flight route over the North Atlantic, there was a 55% increase in clear air turbulence between 1979 and 2020. While the increase was more pronounced over the United States and North Atlantic, the study also found significantly more turbulence along popular routes over Europe, the Middle East, and South Atlantic and Eastern Pacific. Turbulence already costs airlines hundreds of millions of dollars a year from injuries, flight delays, damage, and wear and tear to the aircraft. And every extra minute of flight spent in turbulence heightens the risks and costs. Unfortunately, clear air turbulence is particularly difficult to navigate. Because while an aircraft's radar can warn a pilot about turbulence from a nearby storm and the water droplets and clouds, aircraft radar is essentially blind to clear air turbulence that forms when there is not a cloud in sight. Here's American Airlines Captain Stuart Walker in a recent interview with the Wall Street Journal. Ideally, if we're traveling, we've got a nice tailwind. And if we've got the jet on our tail, we might have 150 knots of extra ground speed just because of that tailwind. But if the jet stream veers off, I'm going to lose some of that uh, tailwind. And as I do, I change the dynamics of the airplane. And basically, I can get a rocking motion or I can get a, a large pitch up if it's a shear from another crossing wind. So what's happening here has a lot to do with jet streams, those invisible rivers of air that circle the globe. When they are bent and turned, they create shears in the air. And those pockets of air are where you find the clear air turbulence. The problem is that the jet streams are becoming more chaotic and unpredictable. And that's because greenhouse gas emissions from fossil fuels are warming the lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere, the troposphere, and the growing difference in temperatures between the troposphere and stratosphere is wrecking havoc with the jet streams, causing more shears in the air and more pockets of clearer turbulence. And again, this sort of turbulence is difficult to predict. However, as shocking and frightening as clear air turbulence may seem, especially if you look out the window and don't see any clouds, pilots say the bouncing will not last very long. The good news about clear turbulence, though, is it typically does not last uh, but a couple thousand feet. So if we just descend a couple thousand or climb a couple thousand, we can usually fly out of some of that rough air. In other words, our odds of suddenly getting jostled around are going up, but unlike other kinds of turbulence, like from a thunderstorm, clear air turbulence will not last very long. Then again, thunderstorms are becoming more intense as well, thanks to climate change. In any case, just remember that at certain parts of your flight, the crew may tell you that you are free to walk about the cabin, but there are no guarantees it will ever be uneventful thanks to climate change. By the way, in California, police are now being sued for assaulting and arresting a firefighter who had just saved a man's life. No, you need to Really, the paint compliance, that's what we need to do? Because you don't like being tired. What's his name? Hey, check that out. I stopped to help somebody who's been shot. I'm getting arrested. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.